Raw black metal hails from Finland. This one is called Kurnugia in Finnish or Kernegia. Kernegia. Well, anyway, there is a death metal band with the same name from United States of America. Maybe that is the Kernegia one. And this one is just Kurnugia. This one is actually a side project, or technically speaking, was a side project that existed back in the 90s. A side project of a band called Aske. Um, Two-man band from uh, Kotka City. Kotka being an eagle. And uh, these were two guys who just kind of got frustrated in the situation where Aske was more or less going through some changes, troubled times or just whatever, hard hardships. And um, now these uh, rehearsal tapes uh, recorded during the 90s have been included on this compilation. As you can see, it's um, 16 tracks, almost one hour in total. Lots of um, overlapping tracks, to be honest, which doesn't really do justice, but I guess these are all here for the reason that none of these rehearsal sessions uh, were not um, supposed to be split in pieces. Here's the band's official lineup image taken from the 90s. Let's take a look at the band's Metal Archive site while well, I'll tell you a little bit more about the music. Now, as you can see um, on this Metal Archive site, only these demos have been listed. But as it is also mentioned that they also had several rehearsal, li rehearsal recordings, which are then again on this compilation. So none of these demos listed here are exactly the same. Mostly, obviously, the tracks are more or less the same, but still there are some uh, differences as well. Now what can be told about the music is that this is very much more kind of a first wave of black metal versus the so-called second wave or more modern touching. That is, some of these riffs are kind of a trashy, which then again reminds me more of what Bathory and other uh, timeless bands from the 80s were doing rather than many bands from the 90s. So definitely uh, Kurnugia, Kurnugia wasn't taking so much, it seems, um, these um, ideas from what was happening in Norway. I mean, there are no melodies, no cheesy keyboards, not things like that, but more like going to the kind of a raw, primitive and as such kind of old school ways. And in my opinion, this is actually quite potent band or was, because the thing here is they have actually quite nice riffs here and there. And this kind of a sheer primitivism is something that could have turned out to be real, real good. Now, unfortunate for us who just happen to like this kind of music is that, well, the band never uh, progressed beyond these demos. And as such, there is no, I guess, better release especially on CD, than this particular uh, compilation. Now, because of overlapping things, I feel a little bit uh, dumb going through all this. I mean, at best even, this production or well, sound is not too shabby. And as such, it's kind of a painful to go all the way through because they're overlapping tracks and it kind of gets worse towards the end. I mean, there's clear glitches in the sound where just the sound basically vanishes for a bit and it kind of makes you annoying just as if you had a broken tape in your tape playing machine. Um, I don't know, this is only for diehard fans in my opinion. I mean as much as some of those riffs are kind of cool, uh, cool to listen to, still it isn't that great. This is very much more like a kind of a quantum leap into the past where you're like, yeah, so this kind of stuff was also happening in Finland back in the 90s, early mid, early or mid 90s and late 90s. But because it's still rehearsal tapes, not even proper demos, not to mention something done in a kind of a proper studio, even if it means say own garage or basement studio, it isn't too shabby. So like I said, it's only for diehard fanatics who want to go to see and listen what was it all about back in the days. Those who are in favor of proper full-length albums and stuff like that probably have to pass on this. 
Now in the description box, there's only one track on YouTube link. So you get the general idea what's gonna, what's gonna sound. There's no Bandcamp site. There are no online albums, at least in legit, legit sources. So you have to just go with it, take a listen to that one song and figure out whether or not this is your cup of tea. But at least you have been warned, shots fired. Take care and see you. Bye bye.